I'm trying my hardest out here to make 2K20 the greatest game it could be. I'm pulling out all the stops. I don't think you guys truly appreciate what I'm doing here. Well, first I dropped a wishlist video. That's not special though, everybody does that. So I said, I gotta step it up. We found out that Ronnie 2K doesn't listen to the community. Only time he's paying attention is when a celebrity's saying something. So what did I do? I spent thousands of dollars to get celebrities to say the stuff that I wanted to say so we can make 2K20 the greatest game it could be. I was just sitting back though the other day thinking to myself, I haven't done enough. I could do more. This whole time, I've been attacking this problem from the outside looking in. But what if I attack the problem from the inside? I made plenty of videos telling you guys before and I'm gonna say it again. Almost every problem with 2K can be fixed with The reason they don't do that is because it messes up their profit margins. So who's the one that makes those decisions? The shareholders. Did you guys know 2K is a publicly traded company? Well, that's what I'm doing today, ladies and gentlemen. I'm buying Take-Two stock today. Yes, today, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to be a shareholder. And from with inside the organization, I'm gonna create change. 2K20 is gonna be great. I hope, or else this is gonna be a waste of time. <laughs> All right, so I made a random Robinhood account so I could invest into Take-Two Interactive. <laughs> uh, and right now, their shares are going for 130 a piece. It's been a pretty volatile year for Take-Two, especially considering for the last five years, it's been nothing but up. But this year, we saw a huge dip in their stock. The FTC is investigating loot boxes. Sony, Microsoft, and Nintendo said that they're gonna require people that use loot boxes to disclose the odds of those loot boxes. Do you remember I made a video a few months ago saying that they had a 10 billion market cap? They're already up to 14 billion. That is insane. Boom, all right, I'm buying one share. Ladies and gentlemen, from this point forward, every time you guys buy some VC, I'm gonna make 0 0.0000001 cents out of it. I don't know, does this stock have dividends? <laughs> I'm just wasting money this video. I have no plan. Oh. All right, ladies and gentlemen, now that I'm a shareholder of Take Two, I could be in on the action. First thing, I want to seat at the table. When you guys have those quarterly meetings to decide how you're going to finesse people next, I want to be in on that. And on top of that, I don't just want to be sitting in the room when you guys make those decisions. I want voting rights, and I'm demanding that. As a valued shareholder of the organization, that is the least I can ask for. As my second course of action as a shareholder in Take-Two Interactive, I'm firing Ronnie 2K. Cause you've been cheesing me recently, Ronnie. You know what you did? So you left me no option here, man. I'm basically your boss now. Did you think about that? <laughs> I'm a shareholder in the company that employs you. It's crazy, just yesterday I was making YouTube videos in my office and now I'm a shareholder of a company with $14 billion of market cap. <laughs> Ronnie, get out of here, man. You're out. I'm gonna hire somebody else for that role. Okay, there's a lot of things I want changed now that I'm in the office, all right? First things first, I need a ranked mode. I've been saying this forever. Are y'all listening? This time I'm gonna be at the meeting, so you have no choice but to hear me. Guys, every game is more fun when you give people a reason to play it. Outside of just playing it, there should be a purpose. There should be a climb and not a badge grind, Ronnie. You think that's a climb? That's not a climb, that's frustrating. Anytime people are opting to pay hundreds of dollars instead of just playing the game, that part of the game is horrible. You need to delete it. Think about it, yo. Man, mans were paying three, four hundred dollars to get other people to do it for them just so they can experience the game fully. That goes without saying. Can we get a proper leaderboard system? In, in like 2K17, it told you, you were ranked 90,000th in Sunset Beach. That was the bare minimum. And then somehow we took a step back from that. I don't know how we did it. I don't know if it's a server issue. Y'all just don't want to spend money on servers. But hey, I'm here now. I'm calling the shots. We're spending money on servers, guys. I'm pretty sure the biggest shareholder in Take Two is a company called Tencent Games. So it's basically the biggest company in all of gaming. It's a Chinese conglomerate. Hey, me and them go way back. So I'm pretty sure, you know, when it comes to, when we get to the meeting and everyone's voting on some of these changes I'm trying to make, 
They're gonna side with me, because I know what I'm doing. I'm experienced here. Now I can sit here for hours making changes and proposing this and that, you know, as a shareholder at Take-Two Interactive. <laughs> and it might, make a, it might make a difference to NBA 2K20. We need to hire more developers, so let's get on that. Since I'm part of the team now, let me take, let me take head on this, all right? All right, okay. <laughs> we need to send out some job postings for some new developers. Oh man, I'm not sweating. I just came out the shower, all right? Yes, all right, whatever, you, you won't believe me anyway, so. I'm gonna need one of you guys to send me the 2K letterhead before we publish this. Let's go with the qualifications. You need a working brain, common sense, not be a lazy mother Listen to everything Mike Wang says. Hmm, do you guys have any suggestions? Five years of programming experience. All right, let's get to the benefits. Boom. We got a lot of money. You're going to get paid. Don't trip out. I'm gonna send this over to the HR department, you know, to Jamie over at HR. <laughs> what am I doing today? I'm not gonna lie, being a shareholder is tough work. It comes with all these responsibilities, like not f***ing up the game. But think about the power I have. At any moment, I could decide you're not fit for the organization and you could get up out of here. <laughs> Yo, what if I just decided like, you know what? Since now I'm invested in 2K, I'm trying to reap the rewards of the microtransactions. <laughs> we just skyrocket the microtransactions, you know what I mean? I could take the $140 I invested and make it 150 by the end of the night. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, that's called being a douchebag and not thinking of other people first, having no empathy. The gaming industry is a lot like the music industry. The artist is the developer, but almost all the time they're not working independently. They have a publisher or a record label. And if you're unlucky, that, that record label is Activision, EA, or Take-Two. Actually, take is not as bad. I'm not gonna put them on the same level. All right, okay, my bad. Hey, I work for them now. I can't be saying stuff like that. I have to censor myself. Think about this. Let me know if this is a brilliant idea. What if every 2K player Put in one dollar. Actually, no, we wouldn't come anywhere close. I'm just thinking about it now. They have a 14 billion dollar market cap. <laughs> if we all put a dollar in, we still wouldn't have voting rights. But think about all the new possibilities. Look, next time I do a 2K drama alert, this is what it'll look like. Four to six weeks later. Ladies and gentlemen, on this week's episode of Beam Star Money Talk, Take Two Stop dropped 20 points. This amidst controversies that they're Increasing microtransactions. Popular YouTuber and very important investor with voting rights, Agent Zero, had this to say. Well, I was at the meeting and I was trying to tell him, don't do it, but they didn't listen. They was just thinking with their pockets and I can't blame him. The only thing that drives them in life is money. They did it anyway and everybody freaked out and didn't like it. Therefore, everybody got scared. Investors were sent running. I ended up losing like $5 on my investment. Very disappointed. That could have been a nice Popeye's chicken sandwich. Chicken sandwich. Could have been a fucking chicken sandwich, man. It's tough business, this right here. If they gave me voting rights, first thing I would do is host another community day. I'd invite like Joe Knows and Ticino and all the other guys who didn't go. And we, we could just be miserable reminiscing about all the experiences we missed together. I'm, I'm joking here this video, but I'm very serious at the same time. It seems like to a certain degree, the 2K developers are listening. But the problem isn't the developers, it's the publisher that puts pressure on the developers to change the way the game plays to make more money. I get it, every game has to make money and microtransactions is just a part of that. Maybe I'm naive to think that no game should have it because probably some games are better off with it if they're a free to play model. But we can all agree 2K takes way too far. And every year it seems like there's the illusion that they're gonna take a step back, but they never end up doing it. And so if I'm in the community, what can I do? I can reach out to celebrities, maybe that'll work. I remember back in 2K17, all it took was a couple tweets from J.R. Smith and it was a patch the next day. So the only other feasible solution would be to crowdfund seven billion dollars. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm pretty sure that'd be a hostile takeover. We could just buy $7 billion of Take-Two stock. All right, I'm just messing around. I'm getting pretty desperate here. Here's a few things that I pray makes it into NBA 2K20. These are simple things. And I also mentioned them last year. So you can't just tell me agent, it's like a couple weeks away from launch, it's too late. They had a year to work on it. 
Stop making excuses. Um, proximity chat. We're in a neighborhood full of people that we can't hear unless we join a party. Can proximity chat get toxic? Yeah. Is there solutions for toxicity? Yeah. Is any solution perfect? No. Does that mean we shouldn't add it to the game? No. Stop being stupid. Plenty of games have proximity chat and it's very, very fun. For those who don't know what that is, basically you can hear people in your proximity if they also have their mic turned on. So if I walk up to you on the park, I don't have to be in your party. I can say, what up? And you would hear me say that. That would be so much fun. Can we have more levels, like more parks? We just need a lot more things. I think in 2K19, they did a pretty decent job. There was a decent frequency of events, even though it was plagued by delaying. And because the time of day was changing every hour, it felt like I was always playing somewhere different, so it never really got stale. We need to keep that going. Let's not lose sight here. There was nothing worse than playing 2K16 park, buying 2K17, and playing in the same damn parks. The next thing, servers. Yeah, I'm a shareholder now, all right? But I'm gonna need a few more billion dollars before I can make any decisions that will impact 2K in a meaningful way. And when it comes to servers, Ronnie2K was on stream and he said this. Del people are asking about delaying. Um, we definitely made some strides in trying to fix that. A lot of it's like switching servers, all that stuff. But we, we uh, made an effort. Now, is every case of it gone? Uh, I don't know if I could conclusively say that, but I know that we uh, really made an effort to fix it, so hopefully hopefully we did. But they say that every single year, so I don't know how I'm meant to take that seriously. Delaying is a problem, yeah. There's a lot of glitches and bugs that cause crashes in the game. Hopefully this year there's no balance issues and the game testers did their job. 2K is a game that comes out every year and the development team seems pretty understaffed. I get why some things don't get done. And that's why when things like pushing are in the game for six months, it's f***ing infuriating. But for the most part, aside from those incidences, or when Mike Wang is playing discotheque with the sliders, it's usually not the developer's fault. It's my fault. It's my peer's fault. As a shareholder, as a person who owns stock in Take-Two Interactive, it's our fault. Because we're not giving the developers the support that they need. And I apologize to you guys for that, all right? God damn. It says 10,000 people own Take-Two stock on Robinhood. Hey, funny story, when I was in my third year of university, I had this finance class and we had this stock assignment. I went all in on EA and GoPro because I knew what the f I was doing. And I basically won big in the first week and I never lost my lead. So I'm just trying to tell you guys that I am the Warren Buffett of investing, all right? So I invested in Take Two, that's because I believe in their message. First of all, I'm hoping they can give me GTA 6 early, all right, since I'm part of the company now. Second of all, I still haven't played Red Dead, so if you guys can send me a copy, I would appreciate that. Third of all, can you guys start inviting me to the community events again? Because I felt left out this last time. So to end this video, I wanna issue an apology. From me and my friends here over at Take Two, we'd like to apologize, all right, for the way we've been conducting ourselves the last few years. I know we could do better, and we're gonna try and do better, okay? Thank you guys for continuing to purchase our products, and thank you guys for subscribing to my YouTube channel. Uh, there's four videos on the screen. Click on one of them. And that job posting I did is gonna be available, so if you are a developer, make sure to apply. I'll catch you guys in the next one. I'm out. <laughs> oh, that's the weirdest video I've ever made.